Hello everybody, welcome to another video, a viewers compilation video. There are crossings like, yo, know, back there. That's no right turn either. Oh, for fuck's sake! No, you can't just jump the lights like that. That's fucking believable. Ways an Audi. Now in this clip, we're not on the good old M25, although the driving is very similar. We are in the United States of America, where they choose to drive on the wrong side of the road, believe it or not. And that Richmond up there isn't our Richmond upon Thames. Oh, I can change it, don't worry. There we go, that's a bit better for us Brits. So, here we go. So we're back in the UK for this one, where we drive on any side of the road, we don't care. Now the viewer that sent this in didn't want their name on the screen or any audio or anything like that. They also accept full responsibility for their own driving here, which to, I've got to be honest here, isn't great. So, but it is an Audi. The other car is an Audi, so I can appreciate the uh, frustration of having an Audi next to you or in front of you in this case.
So I'm going to give you my analysis on this now for what it's worth. This on the ground here, that arrow there, means the Audi is in the correct lane at the moment. It contradicts that sign up there, mind you. So that sign up there is in the wrong lane. We come round here and as soon as we go past these traffic lights, he is now in the wrong lane. Because obviously we all know that he's not going west, he's going east. So he's in the wrong lane now. So we move on. And obviously being an Audi, there is no indication to come back into the correct lane. Now he's already brake checking. Why is he brake checking? The lorry is moving away from him. This is where we lose our nut here. We go a little bit bananas here. And now he's brake checked us another couple of times here. And there's that finger. What's that finger pointing to? He was so desperate to get in front of us, but then brake checks and drives really slowly. And another brake check. There must be about three or four brake checks already. Now we come to the national speed limit signs. So you can actually put your foot down a little bit if you want to. But this guy, he's driving slower now than what he did going around the roundabout. I don't understand why, what's happened here, but then he drives at ridiculous speed, probably about 30 miles an hour, probably no more. But all that needs to be said now is always an Audi. Now in this next clip, it's really, really quick. How people avoid puddles. They prefer to drive at a car rather than go through a puddle. What one's going to hurt you? Or hurt your car? Now we're back in my neck of the woods and obviously we are not driving a car. I would really like to know, Peter, what your camera is because that is crystal clear. Is it like a GoPro or something? We're coming up to a roundabout and as we know, roundabouts, it's priority to traffic approaching from the right. Not if you're a Mercedes driver though. Or as we like to call them, a Burke in a Merc. But look, it's indicating. A Burke in a Merc is actually indicating. Uh, no it's not. Maybe it's run out of indicator fluid. Or they're only allowed a certain amount of flashes per day, aren't they Mercs? So maybe it's already run out. Now in this clip you'll see a a corner cutter that lets his passenger out right now so no one's getting past him learn to take corners now in the next clip believe it or not it's another Audi see it's not just me that has problems with them and I've got to say Andy it's a perfect description of the person driving the car Ah. Fucking idiot! Jesus Christ, oh fucking mighty. Now I've put clips on like this before and got heavily criticised when I put my clip on about two bus drivers here just having a chat. There's traffic behind both of them and they don't care. But people will say they're informing each other of road closures and all that sort of stuff. They've got radios for that. They don't need to ch have a little chat in the middle of the road. Look how much traffic they were holding up. They don't care. They shouldn't be doing it. What does the highway code say about that? Now in this clip, the viewer asked me to take their sound off, which is fair enough, but I have to put my own special effects on. It needs special effects for this. This bully boy lorry driver that you'll see coming down this flooded road. You can see the road that's flooded to the left-hand side here.
I mean, what a total bell end that is. Look, he's still going all the way up there in the distance. <laughs> he's just, oh, what a numpty. What an absolute numpty. I don't know how to describe it other than that. We come to a red light in a second where we have the usual suspects going through it. First off, we got the German car, obviously. But wait, just wait, is this a first? come to some learner abuse now and I've got to say it's perfectly described as well the commentary was perfect oh you fucking asshole deck thank you we come up to another red light here and as we've already seen red lights are not for german cars Now apart from getting a lot of videos being sent to me, I get a lot of pictures sent as well. Like this one here, always an Audi to knock out four pumps in one sitting. Good job mate. And this one here. You can't park there sir. And now we come to a bit of corner cutting. This one is just to beat the cyclist. You'll see it in a second, next corner we come to up here. There's a cyclist that comes from the right hand side and the car from the left. I'll highlight the cyclist there and the car obviously you can see straight in front of us. Just to beat that cyclist it had to cut the corner. Didn't matter about a car coming towards it mind you, had to beat the cyclist. Now the big surprising thing here is the car in front isn't German. You'll also see that there are people crossing the lights and they've got a green man. Which makes me think, did this guy see this green man over here and forget he was in his car or something? What a numpty. So that's it for today guys. Don't forget if you have sent me clips and they're not on here, I have still got so many to go through. So don't worry, I've got them. I just need to sort them out. And as for the clips on this episode, thanks for everyone that sent them in. I hope I got all your names right. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.